what is a national asset? It is an asset that provides services and research that benefits society on different scales. Nationally, it benefits South Africa. Regionally, for the countries in the SADC region, continentally, for Africa, and globally, on an international level. National assets are unique, critical, and of its strategic importance. They are not for profit and are funded by the taxpayer. There are a number of different types of national assets. It ranges from living collections, databases, facilities, biodiversity biobanks, and the natural science collections. The national assets we will look at today will be the natural science collections that are housed at the Agricultural Research Council, Plants, Health and Protection. Now that we understand what a national asset is, it is important to understand how it is used. The natural science collections are used by taxonomists. A taxonomist is a biologist that groups organisms into categories and gives species a name. Taxonomic process starts off with the collecting of specimens. The specimens are then examined and identified, and the data relating to the specimen is catalogued in database. This data includes where it was collected, by who and on what date. Through these steps, research is being done to give the specimen a name, and if it is new to science, to describe it. The research is shared through a peer-reviewed paper or conference contribution to other scientists, while popular articles and infographics help to share this information with society. The research being done has an impact on conservation, plant health, it is of economic importance, biosecurity, training, global relevance and international leverage, and the sustainable use of research resources. The first impact we look at is conservation. The national assets help national conservation agencies to document what biodiversity is currently present in their conservation areas. They are also used to help determine the biodiversities of areas that will potentially become conservation areas. This in turn helps with policy making. A good example of this is the bioblitzes that were done in collaboration with the Isenvelo KZN Wildlife. The South African Red List project was done in collaboration with the South African National Biodiversity Institute. Over 2,000 species of spiders were evaluated for placement on the IUCN Red List. The data associated with these specimens in the National Collection of Arachnids was used to do the, these assessments. It was found that 3% of South African spiders are considered threatened, 3% are near threatened or rare, and a big proportion, 62%, are considered of least concern. This means that they are not at risk for species loss. The next impact we look at is the scientific credibility and quality assurance. The national assets provide support to the diagnostic services offered by the ARC Plant Health and Protection. Specialized staff can identify pests and diseases that can affect food security. These services are then offered to government and industry as well as the farmer. The national assets support international and national research. Specimens and the data associated with these specimens can be used to generate research papers. The natural science collections are used for both biodiversity and taxonomic studies. They can be used to provide foundational data for climate change studies and modeling. The next impact is plant health. Through the recording of biodiversity, it is possible to bioprospect the national assets for the benefit of society. Such an example is the product recently made by BASO called Broadband. It is used as a biological control for insects pests on vegetables. It was developed from a fungal strain housed in the National Collection of Fungi. The original strain was isolated from a beetle. The national assets can help contribute towards understanding soil health. A good healthy soil helps to predict and produce better quality crops. Beneficial nematodes, which are microscopic worms, are also important soil health indicators. With the scientific knowledge of the staff of the National Collection of Nematodes, it is possible to establish a soil faunal profile. This gives a client and, or a farmer an indication of their soil's health. The national assets are used to monitor and record the arrival of new pests and diseases in South Africa. In a first report, a grapevine mite was recorded from the Western Cape that has been found on other continents. It was reported to the Department of Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development. 
In this report, the pathway of the mite into South Africa was discussed and additional life cycles and life stages of the mite was reported. The national assets contribute towards biosecurity in the country. Phytophthora palmifora was recently recorded from papaya in South Africa. This fungus causes crown and root rot on papaya and can have a dev devastating effect on the crop. Through regular survey sampling and monitoring, phytosanitary services are supported in the country. The national assets are used to provide accurate identification of insects that can be used as possible biological control agents of invasive weeds. This is important for the biological control agent programs run by the Department of Environment, Forestry and Fisheries. The pink flowers of the pom-pom plant are seen throughout Gauteng and it is controlled by a small moth. This moth is able to reduce pom-pom plant size populations and helps in controlling this, its spread. The next impact is economic impact. The sugarcane longhorn beetle was recently identified and found in the country. This pest has already cost the sugarcane industry 5 million rand. This is a large industry in South Africa and it is valued around 6 billion rand. It, it is a cost competitive industry with South Africa ranking in the top 15 of about 120 sugar producing countries worldwide and it creates at least 350,000 jobs. If this pest was not identified or contained, it would have had devastating effects on South Africans' GDP and possibly led to job loss. The nematode experts that make use of the national assets use their taxonomic knowledge to help keep the fields green during the 2010 Soccer World Cup. The fields were regularly tested to be clear of nematodes. This important event in South African history helped to introduce at least 93 billion rand into the economy. It helped encourage direct foreign investments and growth in tourism. The national assets are used during research while investigating pests and diseases in order to understand the damage that these can cause on the crops. Nematodes are known to cause extensive damage on a wide variety of crops. The National Collection of Nematodes have information that has been collected over many years about what crop and in what area are affected by plant parasitic nematode species. Another impact that is looked at is sustainable use of resources. Through the work done by taxonomists who look after the national assets, natural biodiversity is described and documented. Recent work on leafhoppers have found a number of new species on the famed gorse biome. From this paper, it was also found that some of these species are found on the priority South African rooibos plant. Using the data associated with specimens of the national assets, policy development and spatial planning can be influenced. Spider species that were included in the IUCN Red List are in also included in the National Species Environmental Assessment Guidelines that was produced by the South African National Biodiversity Institute. This means that these species and all their records that were used during the red listing process are included in the environmental impact assessments in South Africa. This data from the National Collection of Arik Nida will be used in the national screening tool and be used by environmental impact assessment practitioners. Global relevance and international leverage. Carnal bunt is an important fungus on weeds, and it now has to have wheat that is certified before it is allowed to be exported. This has an impact on our global relevance and international leverage. This disease was first reported in South Africa during 2015 in the Northern Cape, and more recently in Mpumalanga. The disease, the disease has an effect on red weeds and is considered a disease of moderate economic importance in many countries. The South African National Collection of Insects has helped provide important information on various phytosanitary pests over the last decade. The additional information on these pest records help with the compiling of risk assessments used by governments. Two of these pests, namely the four armyworm and Tuta absoluta, were identified at the ARC and have helped the ARC do further research and provide training to farmers and governments. The ARC provides training on a global level within the static region. It has provided training recently on fall armyworm, Tuta absoluta, as well as a number of other diseases. With support government, namely the Department of Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development, to train staff and representatives from the department. 
The national assets are used for the training of staff, students, and clients on different subjects. There is a large program of postgraduate training available, ranging from honors, masters, PhD, MTech, BTech. There are also postdoctoral studies, unreceited training, which is formally recognized, as well as specialized courses that can be uniquely customized to meet the client's need. In the bigger picture, the national assets that the ARC are responsible to maintain and look after contribute towards the country's National Development Plan 2030. This addresses various aspects of society to create a more inclusive South Africa. This in turn contributes to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals.